Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. I'm Jasmine, but you can call me Mei Mei. So for today's video, I'll be showing you guys my art print and shadow box collection. Anything that features little bits of art on it, I'll be showing you guys that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. For this shelf right here, I only have two shadow boxes done by Pocket Pastries. And for this shelf right here, I have a print by EMW of Nana. Then I have a print from Roy the Heart of Anastasia. And then down here, this was sort of like an extra that I got from ordering from Easter Eggs of Deku. On my revolver shelf, I have a little social media card of Roy the Art. I really love this one because it's the, I believe it's Sweet Pea and it was for the April, which was really crazy to think of because I was born in April. So this really does match up with me. And it was just really crazy how that just happened. Like I was just unaware of it until I was looking through his Instagram and I saw that it was for April and I was like, wow, what a coincidence. Um, and then down here, I have another EMW art of Ichigo and another one of Rukia. The two cards right here are basically EMW's thank you cards and has their socials on it. And yeah, I just really love how beautiful EMW's art is. Here's another one of EMW. And this one was an extra that came with one of my shadow boxes done by Pocket Pastries. It's a little print of Kyo and Toru. So on this shelf, I have a little Instagram social media card by Easter Eggs or Esther Eggs. I don't know, please correct me if I'm saying it wrong. Um, and then right here, this, this print came as an extra on a birthday order I made a while back. Um, done by Pocket Pastries. I believe it's from the anime Oron High School, but don't quote me on that because I'm really not sure. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cute. I love it. And the colors are so well done. And yeah. Up next on the shelf, I have an ace print by EMW. And then down here is done by Chikari Art. So beautiful. I love the fact that <laughs> Since the Gear 5 episode, I've just been obsessed with his form that I've just been trying to collect a bunch of art of just his. I do have another art print on the way done by Chikari. And yeah, I'm super excited to show that one off. Um, probably in my next haul video, I'll show you guys that. Um, but yeah. And then down here, I have the Beaver Card booklet, which later on, I think I might get like a little binder for it. It's not necessarily, I mean, it is art because it's done by Oda Sensei, um, but yeah. And then here I have the massive Fifth Gear Luffy done by EMW. And then right over here, my infamous amazing shadow box um, done by Pocket Pastries. I was super excited to get this custom because I was like, oh my God, I really want this panel. Like for me, this panel is iconic. Like this is, the moment where I really really like loved Robin like this is the moment where she became like my top favorite like I knew from like the Alabasta arc that she was gonna be sort of a favorite but it really hit me really hard with this particular panel and scene from the anime on to my next shelf I have two art prints done by EMW of Choso and Maki I think by now you guys could kind of tell who my favorite characters are based on my art prints and everything and especially my figures which I will talk about my figures in the next video um, then I have a pocket pastry shadow box this was in fact my first shadow box and it was a great starter, honestly. Like, I loved it the minute I saw it. I was like, it's so cute. I love Damien and I love Anya. They're the cutest. And then I have this little bookmark, which I'm using it as like a little art piece as well, done by Hydrobon. So cute, I'm more reading. <laughs> Here I have a print of Howl and Sophie from Howl's Moving Castle, done by EMW. Then I, this came as an extra because I, 
believe I did not order this but it came as an extra by Roy the Art I think I made my order around Christmas time so he sent over a Christmas print and it's so stunning it's so beautiful I love it so much and yeah on to my last shelf here i'm gonna start on the very top i have a shadow box of taro and hanako from otakoi then i have tomoe and nanami from kamisama kiss then right down here i have a print done by pocket pastries as well of hawk and yona then the infamous scene from yona of the dawn of hawk and yona i love it it's so beautiful I love them so much and they're so precious. Then down here, don't mind my TBR pile. I have a print of Shinha and Hawk and Yona done by Easter eggs or Esther eggs. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Here I have Battle Yona. She looks so badass and <sighs> I love Yona. She has had an amazing character development. Like for me, if I'm reading a story, I love to see character development, whether it's small or big, like as long as there's character development, that's when I'm really like hooked onto the story. And I, I'm not gonna lie you guys, from like the first volume when we're first introduced to Yona, like I understand she was raised a certain way, but I just couldn't help seeing her as a sort of spoiled brat. And I was like, ugh, I do not like her. But throughout the series, you see her, character just develop and change and she becomes a lot more you know mature and she's really well aware of the situation that's going on in her home and she's really willing to change herself in order to really become the ruler of this kingdom that she really wants to be while also just <sighs> I just love it you know and the most recent chapters in the most recent volume have been just kind of breaking my heart a little bit it's like when you think things are gonna go good they don't and you're just like oh my god like why is it going like this um but yeah done by the amazing pocket pastries if i haven't mentioned it already it's absolutely a bit beautiful i'm so sorry if all you guys see is my reflection but it's so beautiful and down here i have a kiki's delivery service art print by roy the art then right over here is by far my favorite it's my a condition called love shadow box done by pocket pastries and an embroidery hoop of hananoi done by pocket pastries as well i actually ordered this one for my birthday and i believe the battle yona shadow box came with it i was absolutely surprised but i loved it <laughs> and you could see the amazing detail of this embroidery hoop like i love it i love it so much i was just like i need to have it because i love hananoi he's so precious and i know i say that about a lot of the characters that i read in all of my series in my collection but honestly, if I don't find the characters to be precious, it's not the series I need to get into, you know what I mean? So yeah, I am absolutely in love with this embroidery hoop. I definitely do want to get more in the future, so here's hoping for that. <laughs> And down here on the last shelf, I have a shadow box of Subaki Cho Lonely Planet. As you have all seen in my top five shoujo manga series, this one's my number one in that demographic. I absolutely love it. I can go on and on about it. You guys have seen my thoughts on it and how much I love it in probably all of my videos. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this one and super excited to finally have an art piece of it. And right here, I have a print of Sasaki and Miyano. Look at them. They're so precious. I cannot, bro. I cannot. Like, Sasaki and Miyano, like, don't get me wrong. There are many other series um, that give me butterflies. But I feel like I get the most butterflies while reading this series. Like, it's insane how much it gets my heart pumping. Like, they're so cute. And their love is so pure. And you could really tell how much they love each other. Like there's no toxicity, there's no drama. It's just your wholesome, like fluffy story. And I just love it. I really love it so much. 
and I'm so happy to finally have this print. I do eventually want to get a frame for it because as of right now, it's just in like a plastic theme just to kind of keep it protected from dust or anything like that. Um, but eventually I do want to get a frame for it. And as I mentioned before, these are done by the Amazing Pocket Pastries as well. And yeah. So that was a very quick video. I don't necessarily have that many prints. I do want to get more prints down the line. Um, I do want to grow it. I do want to like rearrange my shelves in a way where maybe I could have all my art prints and figures on one shelf and then my manga all on one shelf. But I feel like that's going to be a huge project. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, I feel like I missed this one. It's not necessarily an art piece. Well, I consider it an art piece because it's just uh, volume. I believe this is 106 of One Piece. I just fell in love with the cover. And look at Jean Bay. I think, <laughs> I think Jean Bay is the main reason why I wanted the cover like this. They just look so cool. Look at them. And I cannot wait for Egghead Island to get animated. Like I'm super excited for that. I am completely going into it blind in regards to the anime. Um, I've read chapters here and there, um, but I kind of wanted to just kind of be surprised and watch it um, on the anime or just to read it like physically when the English releases come out. But yeah, and yeah, I'll be listing all of the amazing artists that I have featured in my video today so that you guys can check them out and see if there's any art pieces that you want in your collection. And I'll be linking them down below. Yeah, that is the end of my video. So I hope you guys are doing very well. And I'd also like to express my gratitude and say thank you so much for watching this video. And if you'd like, please leave a like. Comment which one of the prints I showed you guys is your favorite and what you look forward to getting yourself. And yeah, and leave any recommendations of other prints um artists out there because i am looking to expand my print horizon so yeah please let me know let's talk like always i love hearing like everybody's opinions about what their favorite prints are who their favorite artists are so yeah leave a comment down below or you guys can dm me on instagram and tiktok because i'm very active on both of those platforms and yeah like i said like the video if you like this video comment subscribe push the bell notification button so that you can be notified when i upload next and thank you so much love you guys bye